Becoming a dentist in any country is challenging, especially when you are already a dentist in your country and then now you're coming to the U.S. to be trained as a dentist. Stay tuned as we talk to a doctor who has gone through this process of becoming a U.S. trained dentist and she's going to share everything about how she did it, her process, and all of that. So the next question relates to uh, advice and tips. And you've been given those all throughout uh, our conversation. But this is also the part that a lot of people want to hear. Tips, strategies, advice, knowing what you know now, having been through this process not once, but twice, you know, you did it in two cycles, which is commendable in itself, in itself, in itself, because there's so many applicants that are applying every year for a limited number of spots. Knowing what you know now, what are some tips and some advice that you would give your your colleagues who were looking to become a U.S. trained uh, dentist? So I would say prepare ahead of time. If you already know that you're going to be uh, stepping into dentistry, so start preparing ahead of time. Uh, start studying for INBDE. Become familiarized with the, the questions, the type of questions they ask. And then build your profile. Don't wait for uh, clearing your part. Uh, INBD, sorry, for me it was part one and part two, so I remember that. But don't wait for the exam. Don't wait for to pass the exam. Just keep doing every single uh Think which is on your list, like say doing uh, doing a job, doing observership or preceptorship or research work or volunteer work. Keep doing keep doing all the things which you can do to make your profile stronger. And then uh, once you are done with all the exams and building your profile resume, I would say as we talked about capital application, present your application well. If you want to seek professional help, seek professional help. And um, after that, I would say, do not wait. Apply and then forget. What I mean is that do not take unnecessary pressure on yourself. Okay, once I get the interview call, I will start preparing for my bench test. No, that's the wrong approach. You, If you applied in five schools or 10 schools, you already know that you will get either one, two, three, depending on your profile, you will get some interview calls. So start preparing, start uh, doing your crowns, class tools, uh, compos composite fillings, amalgam fillings, start the bench test practice at home even before you get an interview call. Do not wait for the interview call and get better at it. Then once you get your interview call, seek professional help. Uh, criticism is always good in this case. Ask your friends to help you, send pictures to them, ask them to evaluate your work and uh, uh, even professional uh, professionals are out there, seek their help. And then uh, go shoot, give your best shot and shoot for it. And uh, during your interview, as we already talked, I would say, be the better version of yourself. Prepare, but uh, do not memorize the answers. And uh, I, I totally agree that I have been through this process. It's a very stressful process, but at the same time, you need to be persistent. So universities, they do see this thing as well, how persistent you are, what changes you are making. Uh, and also I would say that keep in touch with the universities, keep emailing them, tell them what, what you updated in your profile, like how you are different from last year, how you are different from this uh, uh, last month when you applied. Let's say the cycle uh, ends in July and uh, now you are waiting for the interview call. Keep emailing them. Tell them that, okay, this is what I have in my profile after I applied. This is my TOEFL score. Uh, if they really want you, they will send you an interview invite based on even the updated version of your profile. So uh, keep trying and uh, don't lose hope. And I would say don't let the fear of losing to be greater than excitement of winning. So always have this thing, a mental picture in your mind that if other people can, like, I'm an ordinary girl. If I can do it, you people can, everyone else can. So, uh, and the last advice I would give is have a mentor around you. 
anyone which could be anyone your family member or professional or anyone uh, dr darwin is great uh, you can ask uh, a lot of questions from him he is always ready to help so have a mentor That's yeah it. yeah wow some great tips and strategies i counted about 8 or 9 here uh, if you didn't hear those guess what you got to stop press pause go back and start again under the section of tips and strategies and go to the next videos that you see down below go to these next videos go right now